were getting paid, how much would you want to be paid? Okay. And how many hours a week do you want to do this? By the way, I never, um, I will never tell you to charge by the hour because you're eventually going to run out of hours. Okay. I will tell you to create value-based packages, but we'll go with this for now for the sake of time. Um, so how many hours a week would you want to be operating in work capacity that you would be paid $200 for? Three days a week. Okay. So how many hours each time? you can't be making any other money during that time. If it's an 
at the service that you're offering, right? Mm -hmm. So that that's how you do that. And then when you do, you know, webinars and various things like that. Like I, I, I said to her um, when we were sitting over there that the one thing that I saw um, was was really about um, teaching teaching women about their vessel, right? I saw that she could be doing retreats, like you could do a wellness retreat, and that is not just not you know not just like we go away to the mountains and we just pray for three days, but like, you know, we're learning about um, the fact that our bodies are computers and that on our feet we have a headache and we hit ourselves on one specific spot on our foot, our headache can go away. And we're learning that kind of stuff. And we're getting massages and maybe even learning how to do massages. We're doing things that increase our self-care. Like that could be something that, that happens at this. That also includes, like they eat detox food. So maybe it's part of the wellness retreat is this detox. They come here for three days, they get their detox, they leave with their plan, mm -hmm. they leave refueled, and they go back, and then they get like some group check-ins with, with you, okay. something like that. So if you're doing this for women, how you actually are gonna go about, um, just another quick tip of how, how to actually begin it. So I know you have women in your church, but I heard you say earlier that you really wanna separate. You don't necessarily wanna just do it with the women that are in your church. So you wanna have, wanna, you're gonna need to do two things, or three things, get out and network, Go meet some new women. You're going to have to search your own current network for referrals. Who are people you know that know people you don't know that you should know that are in this situation? I think, you know, we're in a time and space where retreats are very popular, and lots of people are doing them, and they really, really make a big difference. So I think that that could be really, really valuable for you. Um, I think you could start this conversation on social media to generate some awareness. You can start talking with people and asking them, you know, if they were going to go to a wellness retreat to learn how to take care of themselves, how to detox their mind, body, and spirit, what would they want to learn? And then every woman who replies and makes a comment, you reach out to her. Okay. She's already connected to you. You inbox her and say, hey, what's your number? I'd love to chat with you. Okay. You can start filling this retreat before you even know that you really have one. Melissa, I'm putting this retreat together. We're, we're still working on getting the exact date. But I'm gauging people's interest, and if you are interested, what I can do is I can get a deposit from you now. It can only be $100, which will make sure that you have one of the few seats that we have in this retreat. Would you be interested in that? Absolutely. And now you're starting to fill it, and then si simultaneously on the other side, you are building all of this out. So you're getting a venue, and you're figuring out. Like, it would be great if you can find one of those places um, that are like retreat centers. Like, I know we have one in Delaware where it's a retreat center. Everybody comes, and they stay there, and everything's on the ground. And then you can bring all your other people in. So if you can find a place like that and have either get an event planner if you're not a good negotiator, or if there, but there might be somebody in your church who helps with the events that can help you to negotiate mm -hmm. to make sure you get the best deal for this. Right. And then you can put this together. And you can do you can do the first one with six to ten women. So it doesn't have to be a major amount of women. And then from these women at this retreat, you can sell them into these other programs. Okay. and be working with them beyond that. So that's like a great way that you can get started. Okay. Um, just kind of where you are right now. It doesn't have to take a lot of your time in between all of the other duties that you have that'll position you to begin to, to set yourself out. Okay, thank you. Do you feel like this is helpful? Yes. Awesome, give her a round of applause.